What's going on, you beautiful fuzzballs? As promised, I got a do-it-yourself node install for Grid that we are going to jump into. Um, if you appreciate these videos, please subscribe. It definitely supports me, and I rarely ever ask for people to subscribe. Um, if you want the simple click, click, and your nodes are installed and you're done, you don't have to go through all the painful process, NerdNode is definitely the best. Uh, they're given three months free, and then uh, the hosting is going to be the, the best price on the market, okay? So if you do want a simple way, uh, NerdNode, they should have theirs up by end of day today. Um, so use that link down below, uh, check them out. And uh, if you want to go through this uh, tough process and getting to watch your nodes all the time and how fun that is, uh, stay tuned. I'll put all the chapters down below here uh, so you can skip ahead if you need to because I am going to go through each process, including like installing and buying your VPS and getting PuTTY installed and all that stuff. So let's jump right in. We're going to walk through everything here. Um, I use RackNerd. So down below, again, it'll uh, click my link for RackNerd. It'll take you to the website. Click Reveal Deals up here. This is the like best deals you can get uh, for VPSs. And here's some of the options for the year. If you pay by the year, it is so much cheaper, okay? Now, we're going to base this off of what the requirements are. When we go to the Grid Twitter page, we click their little Hubber Docker circuit node, okay? It's going to bring up the hub docker and you'll be able to see all the stuff we're going to have to copy and paste here in a bit. But the hardware requirements, their minimum is two gigabyte RAM. Recommended is four gigabyte. Okay, so if you look here, two gigabyte is super cheap for the whole year. It's probably only going to run grid nodes and probably only a couple. Okay, if you have like Gala nodes and other nodes running on it like me, I would get the five gigabyte because then you're not going to have any issues. I have a Gala node running on my current VPS that I put the grid nodes onto as well. And so I do have, you know, the five gigabyte one. And that just means that I can run all 25 of my grid nodes on the one VPS, which I have running right now. Um, and so I would choose one of these. Once you purchase it, you'll get an email. It'll have your IP address um, and, you know, your password and stuff. And so the way you log in, you will have to download PuTTY. Okay, PuTTY is this little guy. And it is this first link here. Yes, I promise this is safe. Been using it forever. I know it looks super simple. And once you get it downloaded and installed, when you open it up, it'll look like this PuTTY configuration. You'll have your you know, host name IP address. This is where you copy and paste your IP address. Click open, okay? It'll start to open this. It'll give you a little security warning. Click yes, accept all or whatever it is, okay? And then it'll say user ID. It's root, R-O-O-T. Click enter and then it'll ask you for your password. Copy your password on whatever, you know, email or wherever it's sitting, okay? You go over here, you click into where the green box is, left click once, then you right click once, okay? When you right click, it pastes it in there. You will not be able to see your password. Trust me, it's there. Click enter and you will log in. Okay, now that we're in and logged in, okay, we're gonna go to the first uh, command line that we're gonna put in here. If you already have a VPS and you log in, you already got a Gala node running on here, cool, that's totally fine. We're still gonna do these same steps, okay? So again, link down below. This is just so you don't have to type it. It's super easy to copy. This is a, a node Gala page. You're just gonna copy this very first step here, this need restart mode, update, sudo, apt, upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Right click it in here, click enter. Let it update everything. This just makes sure your Docker and everything else is updated. So you might as well do this now, okay? Once that's in, you're gonna go to the next link that I got here. You're gonna go down to install Kimu and you're gonna copy this, sudo apt get install Kimu. Very simple, go back to your bad guy here. Once it's done updating that previous one, just right click in there, which again, pastes everything, click enter. It will install Kimu. You have to have Kimu for grid. Never had to do this for the other things, but it's because everything's emulating on the arm. I'm not gonna get into the technical aspects with you. Once you have that installed, now we're gonna move on to the grid network portion here. You're gonna scroll right down to the run the circuit node. Okay, go ahead and click copy. Now what you're gonna do is open up like your notepad or however you wanna do this, okay? And then paste it in there, okay? Once you have it pasted in here, make sure you go to the next button, which is gonna be your, let's see, where's their link? Anyways, I'll put the link down below. It'll take you to the grid website with your licenses. Make sure you're logged in with your MetaMask on the right one that has your nodes. All your nodes will show up here, okay? Go ahead and copy your address through MetaMask or whatever. Go ahead and copy it. Go to your notepad. And then this section, 
you're gonna delete and then paste your address in here. Okay, so owners allow list equals, and there's a zero X and it says owners allow list. Delete all of it, including the zero X, okay? And then paste your address in here that has the licenses, boom. Once you do that, go ahead and copy, boop, copy, go here, boop, paste. Okay, this is the next part. Once you click paste and click enter, it's gonna be annoying because it's gonna keep kind of trying to scroll down on you and you have to scroll up and up and up. And what you're looking for, is you're looking for right where everything got started. So for me, I was able to find where everything got started, which is right here. So I pasted this in, this was the correct one. Boom, pull complete, all this stuff, digest, download, blah, blah, blah. To make this easy, guys, when you scroll up, you can actually just do this. As soon as you let go, it copies it, it's copied. You don't have to click anything. It's as soon as you let go, boom, it copies that. You can go over here, right click, paste. This will make it a lot easier for you to look through and try to find where it made your burner wallet, okay? Because it's gonna have your address in here and then it's gonna have uh, some other address. You're gonna keep reading, you're gonna keep reading and what you're looking for is all the way down here, boom, where it says debug generated burner wallet address and then it's this guy, okay? So what I would do is go ahead and copy that and you can't do anything with these addresses because I deleted some numbers out of them all. And then you're gonna paste it in here. The reason being is because, oh look, it pasted it with a whole bunch of freaking spaces. And so what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of all those spaces so it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to get it all together. Let's see, and eh, whatever. So you can just type that first one there and there's your burner wallet address, okay? So you're gonna copy this, more steps here. <laughs> gonna go to your wallet, my Liza wallet here, Arbitrum, Arbitrum Sepulia, okay? You have to have some of the um, the token in there. This is like faucet token, so you can just Google and find like how you can like, you know, go to one of these faucet sites to go ahead and pull a little uh, uh, fake testnet token on here. So you're on Arbitr Arbitrum Sepulia, the test uh, network, and you're gonna click this, and then you're gonna click send, and then when you click send, you'll go ahead and paste your, you know, burner address in here and go ahead and send yourself like 0 0.04 of the ETH or whatever, okay? The burner wallet needs some of the testnet ETH in it as well, okay? Once you've done that and you got everything sent in there, okay, you can come back to here. You can click license ID. It'll select all of them for you. How nice is that? Click delegate. If it's already delegated because you're using EaseFlow or something, then you can click on delegate. But you're gonna click delegate and then you're gonna paste in the burner wallet address that I still have copied, right? So that burner wallet address, paste it in there, boom. Once you paste that in there, it will go ahead and I don't have it all copied, but it will go ahead and it will start to sync with them all. So after like just a minute or so, you'll start to see these all switch from offline to like pending and then it'll switch to ready once they're all ready and good to go. That means you're good to go. You're all squared away. Um, the team told me that I can close this and it will keep running. So let's go ahead and just test that now. So I'll close that. And it's supposed to keep running just like um, the Gala nodes and other things like that, you know, run in the background constantly because your VPS is on, okay? Um, so if your VPS ends up going off or anything, not sure on the exact commands yet uh, because this is day one, but I will try to update you if that occurs. Hope that was helpful. Feel free to go back, go through other sections slower if you need to. Hopefully that'll get you up and running. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, okay? Like, you know, I made this video for you to help you out. Give me some love, give me a subscription. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees. Mm -hmm.